Mobile House is a new initiative. It's been in work, it's through the residential college model with uh, Dr. Uh, Marquis Gatewood. And so in, in addition to our house, there are three other homes um, that are uh, living learning communities. So they've been, I know this has been for at least a year uh, of prior uh, planning and of uh, putting things together. The Be Global House uh, focuses on global awareness, international consciousness, and just a deep appreciation for cultural diversity. So I was always interested in studying abroad, and unfortunately due to COVID, my study abroad trip got canceled. I was originally supposed to be going to Panama, but I still applied to living here because I just wanted a different experience around like like-minded people. And most of the people in here have studied abroad before and we all are interested in like cultural diversity and, and different ethnicities and different cultures and getting immersed in that. So um, yeah, I only had one semester left on campus. So I said, why not? The biggest thing that I actually love about the house is the community that we've created between the different global leaders. Um, we just do a lot of team building and a lot of collaborating. Um, and even like on a personal level, outside of us creating events, we've really gotten to know each other as people. Um, I help to develop my own leadership abilities and as well as some of the small like people skills, interpersonal skills, even like intercultural skills, um, and as well as leave something behind for PB when I graduate. The goal for this house is to bring scholars from different disciplines into one place and to promote an atmosphere of uh, intellectual discovery or intellectual curiosity. To have them promote programming that answer global issues, answer current state affairs, or even just bring innovative ideas to the table. We are expecting the students um, to take this time into investing in the community that they would hope to have on this campus. And so that means, you know, bringing their skills, bringing their experience in uh, collaborating with other students um, into a greater goal or mission um, of what it is that they hope to see as a change. In general, uh, one of the, uh, there are a number of goals, including uh, promoting uh, students' understanding and how to address the issue of food insecurity. Uh, if you look at uh, the United Nations uh, Millennium uh, Development Goals, there are, I think, about, about 15 of those goals. Uh, if you look at the goals, and I can't you know, tell you all the goals, but about seven or eight of those goals touch on the issue of food insecurity, such as in sustainable agriculture, uh, poverty, hunger, so on and so forth. So one of the primary goals is to, again, have students understand the issues that are impacting uh, the world in the area of uh, food insecurity. All STEM majors should come because even if you're a biology major, you can learn something from an engineering major, or you can learn something from a psychology major. Those students that are in history, if you want to know what STEM students do, this is the place for you. You get an appreciation for what STEM students do in terms of how they learn. You're still a history major, but you have an appreciation for being among other students that are in other majors. If you're a music major, this is a place for you to have of gaining scientific reasoning. This is a place for you. So all of those that are open to scientific learning, open to growing um, things in the soil, open to, to harvesting what you've grown in the soil, open to uh, having an appreciation for life. Those students should come to the STEM Bank House. The familial aspect of it, me and all of my roommates, we got really tight really fast. Um, we like we play games with each other. <laughs> we play hide and go seek in the house, and it's a lot of fun because you don't think about it. But there's a lot of spaces in here, and it's it's fun. We've had like family family dinners and stuff like that. So I've enjoyed that part, and also again just on the honor side, 
being in, being in an environment with other high achieving students that have the same goal of not just graduating, but leaving a mark on campus in the different acti activities and things that we'll do in the house, so yeah. Uh, living in the program house is better than living in other dorms is that you get to live with more people. So you experience you no know, different situations, different people, you learn how to work together. And it's also the, what they provide us is a lot better. Like we get two refrigerators, two stoves. You know, the common area is large, the rooms are very large. And it's just like you have your own space within us. It's like living with a big family, basically. The programming at the Social Justice House are everything from inviting in guest speakers and lecturers um, who maybe run a nonprofit or are committed to some type of justice work. And so inviting them in to, to speak and have open dialogue and conversation with our students, uh, mainly educating them on what are those social trends and issues um, that we may not be aware of. We want them to come away from the, the experience, one, understanding who they are, right? And, and that speaks to some of the identity development piece. Understanding who you are, the communities that represent you, and uh, essentially, what is your place in the world? What are the tools or, or things that have been given to you? Where is your power? Where is your influence? And how do you parlay that to help others, right? Uh, we, we talk a lot about the senior year experience within the residential college uh, as legacy. And we really want students to begin to leave something behind footsteps, footprints, pathways for the underclassmen to kind of tread and move towards. And then ultimately, how are they improving Prairie View um, in such a way that once any student graduates and leaves here, they understand what a Prairie View student is.